Hello there. Welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this video I'm going to show you how you can replace a switch using Aruba Fabric Composer. Um, so I'm going to go through some uh, things here. I have the fabric as demonstrated in the, all, the, all the previous videos. I'm going to replace one of the switches in that fabric, one of the leaf switches. So let me show you how you can do this in a very easy and simple way. The first step here is to make sure that you have a backup of the configuration of the switch. And for that, I will be creating a checkpoint. Um, so we are here in switch checkpoints and I'm going to add a new checkpoint, say backup 8360, because that's the switch that I will be replacing. That's the 8360 here in the fabric. And this will create a snapshot, uh, a checkpoint of the switch configuration in Aruba Fabric Composer. Now, next what I will do is I will go into that switch here. And I will, uh, what I will do is I will copy a checkpoint. which is the initial configuration. And that initial configuration is really the, the standard configuration that you would push through a zero touch provisioning. So that's the, um, the administrative user. What you will also need uh, in order to restore the configuration is you need this AFC admin user account uh, on the switch, on the configuration. That's really important. And obviously the other thing that you need is the um, IP connectivity and you need to have uh, the REST interface enabled. Okay, so that's your HTTPS server VRF. There's some other stuff in here. Don't worry about that. That's just some SNMP stuff. You don't need that in the initial configuration. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this checkpoint to the running configuration. Because I want to set the initial uh, configuration here. Write the configuration to the startup and then boot the switch. So the switch will now be booted with this initial configuration. And that's really the configuration as if it was before you would discover the switch in Aruba Fabric Composer. Now let's wait for a couple of minutes before the switch is booted up again. And so you can also actually see that the switch is unresponsive because it is booting at this moment. Once it uh, comes back online, it obviously has the same IP address as the old 8360, you know, as previously, and um, it should go back into healthy state. I'll just wait a little bit before the switch is operational again. Okay, so the switch is back online. You can see that it's healthy and trying to synchronize. Yes, it's synchronized again. And what you will see if I do a show running, you can see that it is running the, like the basic configuration. Okay, there's no VRFs, no BGP, no OSPF, nothing is configured on there. Now the next step, what I can do is I can go into the switch checkpoints back into the switch checkpoints and you can see that I have this backup of the 8360 what I can do is I can do a roll back here and I also want to copy the running configuration to the startup and then apply you should get a green pop-up notification saying that the rollback is successful. Let me just go back to the switch, do a show running. And you can see that the full configuration has been applied again. You can see the EVPN configuration, the, the virtual max, uh, the lag, um, there's BGP in here as well. Let's see. OSPF information BGP. So 
the the switch uh, configuration has been backed up and it's also being stored in the startup config as well you can see that here it's there so that's how easy it is to um, to like restore a switch uh, or replace a switch and restore the configuration and that concludes another video of uh, data center networking with Aruba Fabric Composer and Aruba OS CX switches. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.